My name is Garrett Roach, and I'm going to be giving you my prepared speech for the Skills USA competition. I love the 4th of July. It is one of my favorite holidays, if not my favorite holiday. I love parades. I love seeing little kids chasing after candy. They've got their faces painted. You know, they're waving little American flags. And, and of course, everybody sees the mayor come around, right? It's the one time a year you see your city mayor. Everybody's chasing them. They've got those the signs saying, hey, look, this, this is your mayor. And then, of course, the fireworks. Everybody loves a good fireworks show. It's, for me personally, one of my very first dates when I was wooing my wife, we sent it around a firework display. So for me, I love the 4th of July. And it's kind of cool when you sit and you think about it and you reflect on America and how we've kind of evolved as a country. And, I, and I'm not talking like just, you know, horse and buggy to the railroad, to cars, to planes. And that too, that's cool. But think about it from a workforce, okay? What are some of the basic things that employers look for? They want knowledge, skills, and ability. But was it always like that? You know, where were we at when this country was first founded and where are we at today? You know, when the country was first founded, everybody comes off the boat, right? We're, we're all immigrants, we're tired, we're poor, we're sick, we're hungry. We're just looking for a chance, right? Just an opportunity, an honest day's pay for an honest day's work, right? I mean, we all have ability, right? And ability worked for a really long time, probably 200 years. Take my mom, my grandpa, for example. My grandpa's a seventh grade dropout, laid tile his whole life, made a very good living, raised five kids, owned a home, two cars, did very well for himself. And even my mom. My mom started her work career in the early 70s. According to the Department of Labor, in 1971, the unemployment rate was about 5%, and the amount of Americans with a college degree was at 15%. Now, my mom was not part of that 15%. As a matter of fact, she was a completely unskilled laborer her whole life. Going through high school, she worked odd jobs. You know, she was, did some babysitting, flipped burgers, made some pizzas, but she didn't have a discernible skill. There was nothing my mom could say that she did better than somebody else. She was very typical of that generation. They just want a chance, want an opportunity, they'll get in the ground floor, just want to get my foot in the door, and then I'll prove myself. And again, that's fine, that's worked for a very long time. But is that enough today? I mean, look at the workforce today. I don't need to tell you how bad the unemployment rate is. I mean, it's around 8%. But here's a really telling statistic. The amount of people today with a bachelor's degree is 30%. When you factor in an AA degree, it now rises to 40%. So let's just look at some basic stuff. Today's economy, you've got more people, right? And you've got fewer jobs. So just naturally, you've got this immediate, harder competition. And oh, by the way, we're going to throw on top of it twice as many people have a degree. So if you're an employer, knowledge now is already taken for granted, as is ability. So you're going to need more than knowledge and ability if you want to set yourself apart. Me, you, everybody. We need to have more than just knowledge and ability if we want to get hired first day on the job. So for example, about two weeks ago I ran into this woman who happened to be wearing a Skills USA sweater. Now, I believe in signs and I believe in karma and all that kind of stuff. So I thought, there is no way I am not going to talk to this woman. So I went up and I just happened to say, you know, ma'am, you are, you are like, you're not going to believe this. But in two weeks, I got to present for the Skills USA competition. I noticed you're wearing a sweater. And I'm just curious, you know, what is your role in that? How are you involved with Skills USA? And she tells me, my son got involved with Skills USA in high school. His high school program turned him on to a vocational college. He went on to work in HVAC. But here's the thing. Before he graduated, he had two job offers. Two job offers before he graduated, huge, large in part, to Skills USA. Now think about how many people are coming out of a four-year degree right now. A four-year school, they've got nearly six figures in debt, and they can't find a job. Her son came out through the Skills USA program, had two job offers before he even graduated. That is huge. That's a major separator. Knowledge, skills, and ability, right? Now take for example me. I'm lucky actually. I've already got a great job. I work in finance and ironically numbers give me a rash which is an entirely different conversation. So I, I have no desire to continue my career in finance. But skills benefits me 
Because this is what I love doing right here. I love giving information. I love giving speeches. I love talking to people. I love building a consensus. I love training, teaching, leading, coaching. This for me is right in my wheelhouse. So now I get to see all the other competitors that I'm up against. I get to see my peer group. I get to see what other employers are going to look at when they're making hiring decisions, right? So now I can kind of benchmark myself and I'm going to say, okay, I need a little bit of this, I need a pinch of that, maybe a dash of this. I need to take a notch down here and there. I can see what some of the best and brightest are, are producing from Skills USA, and now I know what I'm up against. And that kind of information for me is invaluable because someday I might want to be the mayor walking through his city parade, shaking hands and kissing babies. Thank you.